Okay, how's it going everybody? It's been a while since I made a video, but I thought I um make another one because I've seen uh Sohei. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, so if I'm not. He um was showing off this uh, Universal Jew Thief 2.0 that he you made or he copied, I can't remember exactly. Um his was a bit different. He had um LEDs going back. <coughs> And only one LED as his ballast um, current limiter. Um, so I've replicated it as close as I could to um, what he had, and then I played around with it. And um, so this is what I've come up with <coughs> using a whole bunch of components that I just had lying around from other experiments. So forgive the mess, it's quite a bit of a mess. Um, I've got capacitors just for ballasting and I think that was on the schematic my transistor layers on a big huge heat sink um, that's the coil that I'm using um, this coil is linced but not twisted um, I think there's probably about six to ten strands there and I think what I did is I had um, I matched the um, length of these so the length of this thicker wire is the same length as this linced wire except this linced wire is obviously um, a lot thinner but it has about 10 strands in it um, <clears throat> and uh, what I wanted to show was that this actually does work and it's very efficient like Sohei says um, so much more that it's actually quite interesting it's actually putting about 150 um, percent more into the charging battery, the recharging battery, than the charging battery is actually supplying. And uh, you can see that on the meters. So I'll show you that right now. So right now I've got the flyback turned on. So I'll turn the flyback off. So I've just disconnected the flyback coming back from that uh, high voltage line. <coughs> So I'm going to turn it on, and you can see it pulls about 20 milliamps, and out of this battery, 20 milliamps. So this meter here is here, so it's showing me how much is actually coming out of this 12 volt battery, and the other meter is between here. So that's showing me how much is actually going through this recharging battery. So you can see that the, it's going through that meter and then into the actual um, coil there. So that's showing 20 milliamps and that's showing 20 milliamps. Nothing new, same thing. But the interesting is thing is once you turn the flyback on, the voltage, uh, the amperage here increases to about, oh, say, 30 milliamps. But on this one, it's cl more closer to 40 milliamps. Now, I can disconnect the flyback again. No, oh, I didn't do it this time. That's interesting. It's the second time I'm making this video, and uh, before the flyback would actually turn on the high voltage spikes. But for some reason, it's not doing that right now. Don't know why. But okay. So you can see, and it's not a meter difference because what I'll do is I'll turn it off. And I will swap the meters around. Everybody knows it's hard to do things with one hand. Ah, there we go. So you saw me that change that one. Now we've changed this one. Negative and positive. Oops. Okay. So meters are there. Turn it on. And there you go. Thirty milliamps. 40 milliamps. So there's actually about 10 milliamps more going through that battery 
and this battery is actually supplying and it's getting 12 volts at 30 milliamps and it's getting a spike of about 100 volts or between 80 and 100 volts with an additional 10 milliamps behind it or you know that voltage is getting converted down to the milliamps but the point is it's getting a lot more than it's actually than this battery is actually supplying in amperage so that's interesting now this was coming on before okay for some reason it doesn't want to come on now but let's just um, you can see my ballast resistors are uh, doing their job uh, try. LEDs are doing their job. They're uh, limiting the current. If you just use one at around 20 milliamps to 40 milliamps, this will um, these LEDs will blow. Um, you can change this. So now what I've done is I've gotten rid of these isolating diodes. So now the spike that's coming off the flyback is going back to the source and the charging and you can see it increases slightly to 25 milliamps but that's because our flyback isn't turned on so now let's just turn on our flyback and now we've got just over 40 so 45 milliamps and we've got just over 30 35 milliamps so definitely 10 milliamps extra going through there and then through there. So this is seeing that high voltage and so is that other one. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And obviously the uh, the capacitors are doing a lot of the translation for us. So it should be safe enough to mix these energies because everything is getting put back into the capacitors and the capacitors are then translating and pushing it through our um, charging batteries and then back to our, our source battery. So yeah, just thought I'd share that. This is in my own. These are the components that I'm using. As you can see, the resistance, that's a uh, 500 ohm and we're on 2.2K. Now you can change the resistance, obviously, let me just put the camera down, so let's just change it to like, I think that's either 1.5 or 1K, and you can obviously see we're getting 60 milliamps out of the 12 volt, and about 80 through the 6 volt, the LEDs are slightly brighter, we're really pushing that one high now. Um, and, let, and now you will see the, definitely see the flyback. Yeah, and you can see the flyback. So without the flyback, we've, we're back down to 60. As much as we're taking out of it is exactly what we're putting into the 6 volts. But with the flyback, we're pushing 80 milliamps. So I think these capacitors are doing translations. I haven't done tests yet without the capacitors. Well, I have, but I haven't done measurements. So. Well, actually, I guess we could do this on camera then. All right, so everything's plugged in. Let's start taking the capacitors out. Again, one-handed. Okay, I saw a little shift. Yep. Come on. Oh, this one doesn't want to come out. So it does shift a little bit, so let's get this final one out, except I've got this final one out, final one actually attached, so let's just get, oh shush. Okay, and then out, well, yep. So we're down to about 70 milliamps 
Oh, about 50 milliamps here. So, hmm. I still prefer having, so the drawer is a bit less without the capacitors, but I reckon the capacitor is actually doing quite a bit of translation between the two energies, so charging them would be better. Let's just switch this back to So now we're doing 40 and we're doing whoops about 55 to 60 So yes so the capacitors aren't needed for this effect but I reckon that they would help in the translation and um, perhaps boost the efficiency but that's more experimentation so yeah thanks for watching let's uh let me just disconnect that so the battery yeah it should bounce back quite nicely this one should be pretty much fully charged now because those are definitely at about 1.35 or so each cell there so they're they're pretty charged um, yeah, this LED in this um, diode aren't doing anything at the moment. Uh, like I said, I was trying the one LED, but I just kept blowing LEDs, so this is the way I solved it. Just put them in series. I mean, parallel, not series. Sorry. You would put these. You can put these in series up to about two. And that really limits the voltage and the current that uh, goes into the base but that's only if you want to limit the voltage um, I just wanted to limit the current um, you can't go all the way up to three LEDs because that transistor just needs around three volts to turn on but you don't get these effects so yeah thanks for watching thought that was an interesting proof and uh, I will uh, post this as a reply to Sohei so he can have a look that, um, yeah, indeed, well done. Let's keep experimenting. Thank you very much.